लाइफ प्रोसेस इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म पार्ट वन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड लाइफ प्रोसेसेस लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स सेल इज द बेसिक लिविंग एलिमेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सेल्स फॉर्म टिश्यू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ टिश्यूज फॉर्म एन ऑर्गन वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ ऑर्गन फॉर्म एन ऑर्गन सिस्टम एज डाइजेस्टिव रेस्पिरेटरी सर्क्यूलेटरी एस्क्रीटरी एंड कंट्रोल सिस्टम्स डिफरेंट एक्सटर्नल एंड इंटरनल ऑर्गन्स डिफरेंट ऑर्गन्स कम टूगेदर टू फॉर्म द लिविन ऑर्गेनिज्म लाइफ प्रोसेसेस द बेसिक फंक्शन परफॉर्म बाय द लिविन ऑर्गेनिजम्स टू मेंटेन देयर लाइफ इज कॉल्ड एज लाइफ प्रोसेसेस ह्यूमन एंड अदर एनिमल्स कंज्यूम द फ्रूट एंड वेजिटेबल्स प्लांट्स आर ऑटोट्रॉप्स दे प्रिपेयर देयर ओन फूड they utilize some of the food for themselves whereas remaining is stored in the various parts like fruits leaves stem roots etc this food is processed by a system to generate energy this process is known as a life process living organisms and energy production energy is obtained by slowly oxidizing the carbohydrates that we daily consume in the form of food the oxygen is obtained from respiration process there are two types of respiration in this figure this is body level respiration intake of oxygen and release of co2 that is carbon dioxide and in this figure there is a cellular level respiration this is further divided into two types aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration the aerobic respiration or oxygen is involved and in anaerobic respiration oxygen is not involved aerobic respiration In this there are three steps involved. First, glycolysis. Second, tricarboxylic acid cycle. Third, electron transfer chain reaction. Process of glycolysis occurs in cytoplasm. A molecule of glucose is oxidized step by step in this process and two molecules of each that is pyruvic acid ATP, NADH2 and water are formed. Note here remember three words that is pyruvic acid atp and nadh2 which is released during the process tricarboxylic acid cycle process takes place in mitochondria this is a cyclic chain of reaction the outcome of the process glycolysis is further oxidized into co2 h2o nadh2 fadh2 note similarly remember three words CO two H two O F A D H two. Electron transfer chain reaction. Adenosine triphosphate is energy rich molecule. ATP is formed using the components obtained from the above process. Three molecules of ATP are obtained from each N A D H two molecule and two molecules of ATP from each F A D H two molecule. Thus, a molecule of glucose is completely oxidized in aerobic respiration, and a molecule of CO two and H two are produced along with energy. This is why we exhale CO two. If there is insufficient amount of carbohydrates during the fasting and hunger, lipids they are converted into fatty acids, whereas the proteins into amino acid. Hence, if you want to reduce your size, we are told to eat less. Also think why the size increases during the lockdown. The important question is the difference between the anaerobic and aerobic respiration. This is a figure of aerobic respiration, and this is a figure of anaerobic respiration. Thank you for watching this video and keep watching the Academic Squad.